Okay, first thing we're going to try to do is get our, um, I guess you can see me in there. We're going to try to, to get our jets in it. do it and get y'all to see what I'm doing or not. <coughs> Excuse me. Just make sure you get the uh, threads lined up. Let's screw in. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just uh, putting the jets in their holes. Alright, next thing we're going to do is put our plugs in. Um, there's new gaskets. Okay. All right. I'm gonna take this out. Put the gaskets in. Those two gaskets I had to buy separate. A kit was uh, missing one of them. So I ended up out buying it. I also had to buy, the kit didn't come with this, which goes in here. Someone took this carburetor apart and must have threw it away or, or something, uh, but I had to buy that. Other than that, the kit had everything else for the scalperator. So, we'll finish putting it together. Okay, so we need to put four gaskets down here. And Now since we've got our gaskets in, and we put that gasket in there, in here, we got these little tangs. It's actually a right and a left. This one has an L on it, right there. We can see they're not, but anyway, the little tangs, it can't go but one way. If you put it in the wrong way, it hits the sides. See? And it won't go flush. So we know this one goes over here. See how it goes flush? 
See that? Just like this side. So we've already put the gasket in there. Make sure your gaskets are on. We're going to lay that in there. Then we're going to get our, I guess they're idle jets. We're going to stick them in there. Make sure you got everything clean. All the little holes cleaned. I've done this all to uh, save time on the video. I guess you could have put them in beforehand, but I didn't. And then you got just a little check valve. I had to buy this separate because it uh, didn't come in the kit, and mine was missing it. Somebody was taking this carburetor before apart, so we'll drop that down in there. Then we got our squirters with a new gasket. Stick that down in there. <laughs> now we've got a short and long. If you get confused, take them out and forget which way they go. It's like, uh, like I did at first. Then if you look at the carburetor, they can only go in one way. If you put the long set up in this, this part of the carburetor, this screw right here is going to bottom out. It's going to bottom out because of that. Right there. And then you'll just break the casting. So we don't want that. So your small ones, they go up here and this side. And your long ones, they go on this side. Like so. Okay, so now we're going to dollar fuel pump a little down in here in the side I don't know if you can see it or not there's a little ball you drop it down in there first and then it goes in a little hole I don't know if you can see that Yep. Now, we're going to put this thing in, the little retainer ring uh, clip. If this falls in a, a groove down at the bottom, keeps the ball from coming out. Okay, so now we're going to do our accelerator pump. So we're going to take it apart and put this new one on it. So it just slides down. Pull this out.
It's just that easy. Yep. Slide that then in a hole. Like that. We'll spray a little WD forty down in that. Just to lube that part up a little bit. You know. Probably don't have to be, but It's kind of dry. Okay. Okay, I went and filled the uh, thing up with some mineral spirits. Just to show you that we want the spray coming out that. You see that? See? See how steady stream it is? Well, I'm making a mess. So we know they work. Okay, so now we're going to put the valve route, power valve in. And here's the gasket. They have a ridge on it. The original one didn't have a ridge. So just make sure when you put it on. This is a little tiny ridge. This one right away don't have one that bad. But some of the power valves they'll have a ridge and they won't let it seat. So just make sure that when you seat it that everything's seated. Now we're going to put our base on after we got our power valve on. So we want to make sure all of them lined up. Now since I've got them down, the gasket all looks good. I'm going to tighten them up. The snug. That's it for the base. Then you gotta put your throttle thing back in. And they have different one, two, three, four. Well, I mean one, two, three. Uh, whether or not you winter, summer. Um, wherever you want to put it, mine was in this hole. It snaps right up in. See? Yep. 
now you can pour more uh, gas down that since you got your power valve and all that stuff in it and make sure you got squirter your squirters work stream steady stream that's what you want so now we'll work on the uh, top half okay so <clears throat> now we're going to put our uh, float and needle all that stuff in and like I said I've I've checked all my stuff just make sure you check clean all your your holes I did all that to save time so you got your little gasket want something that actually fits the slots so you don't tear them up just snug it up okay once we got that in put our needle in let's go down in the hole then we'll put our float go okay so now we're going to set the float which I've already done it uh, you get these little gauges um, I set mine an inch and five sixteenths so I took a mic and, and what I did was cut that off inch and five sixteenths you can do yours a little bit different make something else but then I, I put it on the base. And looked at it. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get where you can see. See it? That's what I did. Make sure to do it on both sides. That's how I set it. Okay, and now we're going to stick our gasket on. Now we're going to put the top on. I do want to point out that these have a little spring at the very bottom. We didn't put one in this one because my cover didn't have it. But they do make a little spring that goes on the very bottom of your um, fuel pump. And that kind of makes it raise back up. But it should be okay without it. Oh. Make sure everything's flush. We're gonna set our screws back in it and we're pretty much done.
that's it for this. Throttle works. That's it. Choke works. So all we gotta do is put it back on the car. Okay, we're gonna put our needles back in. Make sure they're clean, they don't have grooves. Mine are good. You just screw them all the way in to the bottom out. I usually kind of do it by hand. Okay. Then they make note of where they're clocked. And we're going to turn out two and a half turns. Well, I was taught two and a half turns. My two and a half turns is what they consider now one and a half turns. Or two, uh, one and a quarter. Or I, I don't know what they say. But anyway, my two and a half, that's why they, they, they taught me, well, an old timer taught me back in, oh crap, I'd say early 80s when I started working on like lawnmowers, go karts, stuff like that. But a two and a half turn, make sure they're bottomed out. Okay. So, this will get you running. Two and a half turns. A half a turn would be one turn. Another half will be two turns. And a quarter of a turn is a half. That's two and a half turns. That's what I was taught. Now they're coming out with that one and a quarter, I guess, or one and a half, or whatever it was. So it's one, two, half. Okay? And then you're set. Okay, this is the kit I bought for that 94. And what I can say about it, it was all right, okay? It's not the best kit that I've ever been, I've had. But it came with, <laughs> I was missing some gaskets, so I had to buy some extra gaskets. Um, Here's the part number for that gasket set. One thing I did forget to mention was it doesn't come with any kind of instructions whatsoever. So you have to actually read the box. It says instruction sheets. You have to go to their website, which is a bunch of crap. They should put it in the box. Not everybody's got a computer. Not everybody's got a, well, most people's got a smartphone now, but, you know, let's stay old school. Why do we even have to go on the internet and download crap? My opinion. 